Hello everyone and salam to all Muslim brothers and sisters. This is um, my first tutorial video on letter of credit. I will explain and focus on what is letter of credit by looking at the definition given in Article 2 of UCP 600. LC is expressly defined under Article 2 of uh, UCP 600 as uh, Credit means any arrangement, however name or described, that is irrevocable and thereby constitutes a definite undertaking of the issuing bank to honor a complying um, presentation. Um, uh, for your info, UCP 600 is the uh, latest revision. Previously, it was called UCP 500. Before that, it was um, UCP 400. By the way, it's not so important for you to remember. Now, before I go into detail, first, you must know the important keywords that describe the LC. From the definition provided under Article 2 of uh, UCP 600, these are the important keywords that um, explain and encapsulate not only the meaning but also the important characteristics of the LC. In order to give you the whole picture of what the LC is, I start with the issuing bank. Issuing bank is one of the most important keywords extracted from the definition. It plays a very important role in the LC operation cycle and uh, it is the first and the last responsible party in the whole LC operation. The issuing bank is uh, acting at the request and on the instruction of a buyer. Once the buyer and the seller have mutually agreed under contract of sales that uh, the method of payment is by way of LC, the buyer will give a request or instruction to the issuing bank to issue the LC. Upon receipt of the instruction or the request from the buyer, the issuing bank is under the obligation to issue the LC without delay. When the issuing bank issues the LC, the issuing bank is said to have issued its definite undertaking or guarantee or promise which cannot be revoked or cancelled even by the buyer the party who in the first place had given the instruction to the issuing bank. Now, even the issuing bank itself, once the LC has been issued, the issuing bank is no longer in the position to cancel or revoke the LC. The irrevocability of the definite undertaking issued by the issuing bank in the form of letter of credit is only to serve one main purpose that is to make a payment. Although payment under LC is guaranteed and irrevocable, however, the payment under LC is conditional. The payment depends on compliance with the terms of conditions of the LC. When the terms and conditions of the LC are strictly complied with, then the payment can be effected. Compliance with the terms and conditions of the LC is to be evidenced by the presentation of documents. Seller is the party who is responsible and obligated to ensure documents presented are in strict compliance to the terms and conditions in order for him to obtain a payment that is irrevocable undertaking in the form of LC issued by the issuing bank at the request or instruction of the buyer. This is what it means by this definition. So I hope you get a clear picture of what LC or letter of credit is. Now if you want to know or test your understanding, try answer this question. In your own words, explain the importance of the issuing bank and how the definite undertaking of the issuing bank affects the seller and the buyer. If you want a detailed presentation a slide or notes of this tutorial you can email me at this email and thank you for watching i'll see you again in my next video